This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. I ask my buyer's agent to reach out to you as the listing agent to find out what does your seller really want in this house. Are you annoyed by that? Are you taking those calls every single time? Are you returning every one of those calls? Are you a, are you able to tell them my elevator a seller is motivated by potentially needing wanting more time in the home, closing less fast? Are you getting that a lot? B, um, will you always reply to those? And and C, uh, do you think that's a good strategy to, for trying to uh, for a buyer to try to understand what's important to the seller? Because I want to write that contract. So anything to deal with financially, we're not going to answer. But I mean, if there's something like they need a rent back or something that's non-financial that we're not yeah. you know, giving away and giving them more of an edge, then you would answer the same question for the next buyer's agent because mm-hmm. we have to be fair. But right? are, are good buyer's agents doing that right now? Like, are you seeing yeah. this at all? I, as a buyer's I agent, am. I ask that very question, John. Okay. I say, what does your seller, what, what can I do for your seller that would put my buyer on top? Mm-hmm. What, and that's the way I phrase it. What's the term or terms that your seller needs that is going to make my buyer look more attractive? And I, I and sometimes listing agents are, are very candid and, and, and open. Right. And other times they're like, just give me your best offer. If my seller, in fact, does want additional time in the home, I'm gonna let him know, hey, you know, give us give us a lease back, and maybe don't even charge us for it if you can if you can afford that. Right. Um, and, and I might or I might say, you know, he's looking for a really quick close, uh, or, sure. or I might, you know, whatever it is that my seller has emphasized me, I'm happy to pass that on because that's the way I might be able to get it yeah. from my seller. Question that's annoying is is sometimes is is what's the number. And as Danielle said, we're not really prepared to give you that. Yeah. Um, now, you can only actually give the number if your seller authorizes it, right? Correct. They have to specifically say, yes, you're allowed to say this, yeah. or is it something they, they pre-plan with you in advance? Well, okay, for in the contract, it actually says whether or not we can disclose the idea that there are multiple offers. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is you can ask your seller if it's okay to disclose the number. I never do. I don't really want my seller to even authorize me to do that. I don't want to okay. give away any numbers. You know, sometimes I will say something to the effect of, uh, we're very much over list right now. Sure. Just just to prevent somebody from writing a low offer that I don't I just don't want to reject. But as a buyer's agent, John, I'm not afraid to ask any and all questions. You yeah. ask all the questions. I say, <laughs> what's the number? I'll uh-huh. say it. I'll ask right. the question. And for the agents, sometimes the agents will tell you. They'll say it. They'll say, you know what? Right now we got this. Mm-hmm. You know, and and, so, and and I'll tell my buyer here. Here's what they're telling me they've got. What do you want to do? And then we'll decide where we want to go from there. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes someone else just asked them that same question and they went even higher after I already asked. The, so you don't even know if it's going to work or not. But you, mm-hmm. sometimes you ask the question and sometimes you get the answer. Sometimes you don't. Um, if they ask me the question, they don't get the answer. But okay. I'm not afraid to ask the question anyway. And sometimes yeah. their sellers ask them, yeah, tell them what we got so we can keep moving that number up. Yeah, if the uh, seller agrees, then they're allowed to. Yeah. Absolutely. We're allowed to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And there's and there, look, when you're in a market like this, I think it's important for sellers to understand how to properly vet the variety of buyers they're getting. And we talked about a little bit about this earlier, but it's really important. Yeah. It's not just the number. And yeah. and you said it's kind of earlier, John, you know, you can write a number with the appraiser. If it's not, if you're not waving appraiser, it doesn't matter what your offer price is because the appraiser is going to knock it down anyway. So sure. to, to, as a point of exaggeration, if your house is listed for 565,000 and I offer you 850, if I'm still subject to appraisal, guess what? You're not getting 850. Right. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's just, and I do. I exaggerate for purpose because even sure. even if I go 595 and it still appraises at 550, it's going to be tough to get to that 595 mm-hmm. number for some buyers. Some buyers may not have sufficient cash to do that. And so you you measure all of those things, all of those elements, against each other. And you you know I do a little spreadsheet for my sellers when we have multiple offers, and I show them the numbers, and ultimately. Ultimately, it's usually that bottom line number. What's mm. my net? What's that check going to be yeah. at escrow? That's the most important thing to a seller. But it gets there in a variety of ways. It's more than just price. It's, it's closing costs, as Danielle pointed sure. out. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM KDON, the talk of Las Vegas.